All right, we're at the Stirnbrust water treatment plant. Uh, the reason why we are, we're in the midst of water restrictions, level 3B. So what we've decided to do is to show you the infrastructure, what's involved in getting the water to your tap. We are currently at the Stirnbrust lower dam. The upper dam is the one that supplies uh, the electricity station down at the bottom. Uh, this dam predominantly supplies the uh, Stiamaras water treatment plant via tunnel. The water to this plant you would see is like a, you know tea colored which means that water has color in it as a result of the geological formation that yes. the water flows through and then there's also colloidal particles that's in there and that has to be taken out of the water. We then add the flocculants, coagulants into the water. What we then do is we send, take the water into the um, conditioning tanks and then the chemicals will have sufficient contact time with the particles that's in there that it has to take out. Now from the conditioning tanks, the water is then channeled again into the, what we call the settling tanks. And it will slowly move through there, and that rate at which it moves allows um, for the particles to settle. The water leaving from it will be what we call the supernatant. But that water now goes into a channel where we then add chlorine before it goes for sand filtration. Where the water goes over the filter, trickles through it and then at the bottom we will have the clean water coming from the filters and that. Then we take the water and we then add more lime to up the pH to the level, the pH level that we require and that would be in the region between 9.2 to 9.3 pH units. We will then also add carbon dioxide to the water and that is to assist with stabilization and, and pH correction. We then further disinfect it again with chlorine, which is the final chlorine. The final water that's treated here will then go into a bulk water reservoir. From the bulk water reservoir, which, is, which are very large reservoirs, it goes into what we call the reticulation reservoirs. The reticulation reservoirs are the reservoirs that, that um, distributes the water into the network that will ultimately take the, the water to the customers. Throughout the water treatment processes, our process controllers, they've got an on-site laboratory to monitor and to make adjustments, test for chemicals, heavy metals, all of those type of things to ensure that we are compliant with the South African National Standard for Drinking Water and why? Ultimately, to provide that good quality drinking water, that life-sustaining drinking water our customers.